Hi, I'm Bryce Bafiel, a physical therapist here at 360 Physical Therapy in CrossFit Fort Vancouver. Today we had a patient who tore his uh, pectoral muscle while he was skiing in January. Let's see, I had surgery, what, like February 9th, I think, and then I was in a sling for six weeks. And we are working to help increase mobility and so that he can get back to strength training and lifting here at CrossFit Fort Vancouver. And I did do some front squats the other day and that, that was painful. Oh, it was? Okay, yeah. where at? In the shoulder. So like normally, you know, I can I can get here and have pretty good mm -hmm. flexibility and mobility to get under the bar and still have my hands out. But for these, I was like right here. Oh, like, you couldn't get Yeah, I couldn't get more. Elbows up. Yeah. And, right. Well, I mean, I could, but it was okay. painful in my it shoulder. Painful so. in the shoulder. Let's have you reach up overhead and try to reach behind your back as best you can. Kind of stuff right there. Okay, so right here. Good. And then other hand. So that's a little bit farther there. It's easier to move down too, so about a vertebrae or two, a difference. Okay, come back down. So as he's torn his pec here, um, he's going to try to reach back, but the fascia, the tissue in the front is restricting his range of motion in the back. And so he's not able to reach as far, getting that internal rotation to be able to lift that arm up. And that's restricting his ability to get his elbow up and in too. This patient is a firefighter, so he's going to have to be able to use his arm, and especially his dominant arm on the right side. So being able to use an axe or being able to get someone out of a car, he's going to have to compensate a little bit, use the opposite side that's not his dominant side, and have to um, think and reassess the situation in, in light of the injury. And so what, we want to, what he wants to do is try to get back to being able to do that without having to think about his arm um, or his shoulder being in pain. And he also wants to get back to lifting too and being in the gym, any overhead movement, any push up, um, and those things to help him to continue to get stronger. So I'm gonna hone in on the scan kind of in that upper cervical, thoracic, and shoulder region. So the right pec is tighter than the left, so the muscle is restricted there. Um, also got a little bit of restriction there in the covering of the bone. I feel pretty tight to me. How's that feel to you right there? The little yeah. found spot. Okay, so those are the discs. They, the fascia wraps in and attaches underneath through the scapula. And what that'll restrict is that external and internal rotation. So the range of motion will be restricted there. Does that feel better there? Yeah. Any restriction? A little bit? Not too bad. Yeah. Let's do the other side. So releasing those discs especially will help the blood flow around it. Um, if a thoracic or any disc in the spine is tight, it's going to cause um, limited mobility. So sometimes you'll have, I'm treating the opposite shoulder as well, some compensation. So you don't want to have any impingement or other things happen on the other side as well. So we're trying to look at the whole body here and figure out if there's any other areas that could be restricted or compensating. Just a little bit. No. No pain? Perfect. So part of the release that I'm trying to get to is find that tender point, in this case it's in the back of his shoulder, and push on it. And what I'm feeling for is that tension. And then as I push in the front, move the, in this case it's the structure of the vein, drag it, allow for it to release, opens up that blood flow. And then I feel in the back where that tender point is, it should, tender point should soften. The patient shouldn't feel any pain with that. So that's what I'm trying to get at here with the technique and the counter strain. This is not something you get with your standard physical therapy. Normally it would just be, they'd get a few pieces of paper and show me some mobility exercises and strengthening exercises. And that's about it. Whereas here, they're actually looking at, you know, all the, fascia, the tendons, the muscles, the arteries. You know, it's looser on my end. Is okay for you? Yeah. Yeah. So now, we can go a little bit farther back. Forward is a little better too. So mm -hmm. almost all the way down now. Before he was about here. Now we're almost parallel with his body. As you can see, he's a little bit of an up, uprise in the shoulder, but he was stuck here. His shoulder wasn't even able to go up in range of motion. So, that's better. Yeah. Our philosophy is the ability to have the hands-on treatment and that 360 whole care 
um, traditional PT, you're going to get those exercises, you're going to get that stretching routine, which isn't a bad thing. It's good to have a routine to start out with, and you want to try that. It works for about 80% of the population, but for those who have um, want to get better faster, for those who want to be able to um, see that see that chronic pain kind of decrease, would be um, that we get that longer time, one-on-one, -on -one, um, to address any of those issues that come up. All right, go ahead and reach up behind your back, slowly. Go ahead. Try that. So behind. Uh, better. So it's a little bit lower than that. It's about here. So it's a little better. Work it up a little bit. How's that feel? Does that feel restricted or painful? Yeah, yeah it's. I mean, it's tight, but uh, not not like it was not before. Like it was before. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's a little better there. All right. And then reach up overhead, and behind. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah. That's a lot. I don't feel so anything go ahead and here. reach the other hand overhead. Right there. So it's about the same. We can go out and test this. Alright, let's go ahead and try that front from back position. So we did the front rack position and noticed that there was a little bit of restriction there in the joint capsule. And so what I'm doing now is distracting that, opening that joint capsule up and pulling it in line for that blood flow to come out so there's still some residual left over um, of just fluid. And so we're helping to get that out of there so we can be able to get back into that position even better. And so what I'm doing is taking that shoulder and distracting, distracting it and also moving it forward and then that's opening up that joint. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so in that position again. Hmm. Any Weak elbows. Weak <laughs> elbows? Okay, yes, yeah, so the elbows probably. Take it back on that. All left is good. Alright, go and sit up and we'll test behind the back again. Left. Oh, it's even better. There we go. Yeah, right up to there now. Yeah, that's much better than before. Yeah. Okay. Being 10 weeks post-operative, I see this patient being able to get back to his job, get back to being able to work out in the gym uh, with a good home exercise program, treatment here at 360, and continuing to strengthen on his own. And I would say in two to three months, he's going to be back to lifting and doing those things. For 360, it's about the, the strain counter strain. And I mean, this is the only place I know around here that does it. And, um, you know, I've had a few different injuries that I've come to 364 and it's uh, a huge difference this technique versus just your standard physical therapy so I mean yeah